Hello and welcome to Coastal Nation Fan TV. I am Pilo. I am your host. This is where fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs. Ama Football Club. And in today's video, I want us to talk about the winger situation because as Coach Arthur Zwane has already said it publicly, the Chiefs needs more depth in those areas and as much as we know there are some players that have not been used in those positions for example umashatsi we are also divided to go to should he be playing should he not be playing i personally think he should be playing but then uzwane knows more because he trains with him week in week out so maybe they've seen guti he doesn't quite fit in the team and in one of the videos i made i suggested guti maybe he should just go on a on a loan and maybe improved in some other team and then come back to the team because right now it doesn't seem like he will be playing anytime soon now let's go to the person that each chiefs has been linked with ugo tibazom signer no i am not talking about upule modi because we know Uguti with upule modi there was a lot of drama that happened with him and now january he's going to his final six months with the arrows and if the Chiefs wanted to sign him, I don't think they would pay money much in January, this coming January. Egbeni, Vele, being a Kokanga six months earlier. So they might as well just wait the extra six months and get him for free. Because we know our team likes doing that. Secondly is Umendieta. With Umendieta Naye, I don't think the Chiefs would be signing him because according to the transfer market, he's valued around 8 million. And we know what the Chiefs does not like paying those um amounts of money that amount of money so i don't think each chiefs will also be buying women theater especially not in a january transfer window which brings us to Emmanuel Gabriel michael i talked about him a few weeks back but i just wanted to revisit the situation again because uh right now he's still playing in in ethiopia yes uh his home country and right now he's valued at two million rands for a player who is 23 who's al already playing for his national team has scored goals has played we have corn has played for my qualifiers the world cup or oh, two million really really for a team like he chiefs i don't think it's it's much money and also getting a player like him right now in january or equality will help our matches as a Chiefs to qualify for a Champions League. And what happens when you qualify for a Champions League? Then we can be able to attract more players by high profile from around Africa because waiting until Uchun to sign him, then we don't qualify for a Champions League. Then other better offers could come around with teams that can offer him a Champions League. And I know Guaman there are teams that could offer him Champions League football. But right now, they are not making their move so it's the perfect time for each chiefs to make their move right now and basically go out and snatch him because i mean we we, we have seen it so many times we could sometimes not in you use a hotter we are the list because i can option no he's good one is what so hotter plays really well for us but he needs a competition he needs to be rotated he needs someone who is going to be there also and bring in the same amount of quality when he's out. I know he's the right winger, U U Gabriel Mikel, but there's no reason to say he can't play left and right wing because very glamour positions, sometimes those players do swap. Speaking of swapping, uh, well, swapping, I'm speaking of swiping. Just swipe up and please subscribe if you haven't. And also like the video I said swipe not swap uh so yeah please do like the video if you're enjoying it and subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed and i think one of the the the, the reasons why I, I i am talking so much about this player i know Uti, in kulama reports uh that are, are out there they also talk about Uti was actually a second option because each chiefs wanted apupaka nazir and the sundowns ended up buying apupaka nazir so the other reason why I don't want the Chiefs to postpone this is because if we continue postponing signing him, the thing that will happen next is that Sundowns or Pirates could go and snatch him. Especially Pirates, because we've seen Nguti Pirates 
they don't seem to be so happy with Uhoto, even Abalandel Babo. We saw Guti, they didn't even vote for Uhoto, who's been like one of their wingers that has been beloved. And Umdlali Abamdlali Sao mostly right now, Uyu Salem Odlalayo in that wing position. Imagine Manga Tuwaga Seben, a speedy winger on the right, speedy, skillful winger, Usalem on the right, and then they also have Ukepre Mikel on the left. We see Guti Pirates. They don't hesitate to make these signings. Shouldn't hesitate to subscribe also. So Ichil should not also hesitate to to to, to, to go and snatch him now because when it comes to the June and Ju, June and July, in terms of the Galapu foot, the other thing is that Kuzo Begne Afcon and Masegne Afconi usually ama price abadali they go up for a simple reason because Bazo Feba perform a Afconi. And then our team Zaba Zobon good, okay. Lom Dalilo uperforme gase, and then the other teams that are watching will go and snatch him up. An example of a team that's in Europe though, who usually sign players go 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 after a big tournament is Real Madrid or Tony Cruz or Modric, not or Modric, but or James Rodriguez. But basically, they do sign big players. And other teams are always looking at these players during these big tournaments. And the last thing I would want is for Chiefs to just postpone, to just postpone, to just postpone because of Indabayoguti, they are waiting for something miraculous to happen and for the price to significantly drop. Now, one thing that I'm not sure about with regards to Ukepre Mikel, I saw Guti, Cheslakel Pal Guti, Emmanuel G. That's nice. Is Uguti since a joining what December 2020? I wonder uh, Uguti is Saint George team like I wonder Uguti how many years are left with contract tech because that could play a huge de- factor in, 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 in Chiefs deciding whether to go for him or not. But seeing Uguti is valued at two million. I would think maybe sell it in but I know Guti, the valuations that are given good transfer markets are not always accurate because sometimes they say players worth 20 million and you find Guti, it's actually much cheaper than that. So that's why I'm asking myself and wondering, Guti, how much does it actually cost? Because it chiefs, we know they're always trying to spend as little as they can. And that might affect to good but No, let's wait for him to go to his final year of his contract. And then once he gets there, we can be able to negotiate, which I think is a bad idea. If you know, by the way, with how many years are left in his contract, do let me know down in the comment section. But guys, what do you think about to Capri Mikel? And let me know down in the comment section. Thank you for watching. And until next time, remember, equals Ali Pelumoya.